हेलो स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज डॉक्टर अमरप्रीत कौर अ लेक्चर फ्रॉम जम्मू एंड कश्मीर एजुकेशन डिपार्टमेंट टुडेज टॉपिक इज न्यूट्रिय साइकिल न्यूट्रिएंट्स आर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट नॉट ओनली फॉर ह्यूमन बीइंग्स बट फॉर ऑल द लिविंग बीइंग्स दे आर रिक्वायर्ड बाय डिफरेंट ऑर्गेनिज्म फॉर परफॉर्मिंग डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ एक्टिविटीज एंड ऑल्सो फॉर बिल्डिंग देयर बॉडीज depending upon the requirement by organisms minerals or nutrients they are divided into two categories macro and micro nutrients there is another term which is associated with nutrient cycle and it is very important it is known as standing state standing state means the amount of nutrients that are present in soil at a given time okay and it varies with different kind of ecosystems and also it is dependent upon the seasonal variation coming to the main topic that is nutrient cycle or biogeochemical cycle it is one and the same thing it means the circulation of biogenetic nutrients between the living and non living components clear so simply it is a circulation of nutrients between the living and non living organisms the whole biogenetic nutrients they are not always in circulation they exist into two stages one is reservoir pool and another is cycling pool firstly reservoir pool okay in it what is happening biogenetic nutrients they are reserved and from here they become slowly transferred to the cycling pool another very important point about reservoir pool is that nutrients they are relatively inactive okay and coming to the cycling pool in this what is happening that biogenetic nutrients they are repeatedly exchanged between biotic and abiotic biosphere and second point about a uh, cycling pool is that nutrients they are present in active form or in ionic form there are two types of biogeochemical cycles one is gaseous cycle and another is sedimentary cycle firstly gaseous cycle exchange of nutrients occur in gaseous phase okay and biogeochemical is non mineral and third important point about gaseous cycle is that reservoir pool is atmosphere or hydrosphere and examples in it are different kind of gases like nitrogen carbon oxygen etc now coming to the sedimentary cycle firstly biogeochemicals they are in the form of minerals and reservoir pool is earth's crust what is other name of for earth's crust it is also known as lithosphere and example for it is sulfur phosphorus calcium etc okay now i will discuss about carbon cycle okay let's discuss it in detail firstly carbon it is the next to water in abundance it constitutes almost 49% of dry weight of organisms different components like lipids uh, nucleic acid proteins enzymes they are made up of carbon okay now sources of carbon what are the sources firstly fossil fuel they are also present in the form of rocks like carbonates and graphite carbon dioxide it is present in atmosphere okay and what is the ratio it is i guess 2.3 something and one more thing it is very important 70% of carbon it is found in dissolved 
form in oceans according to an estimation by scientists each year 4 into 10 raised to power 13 kg of carbon it is fixed by plants by the process photosynthesis okay and some of uh, the fixed carbon it is lost to sediments shells skeletons okay and removed from circulation by the process of respiration a large amount of carbon dioxide it is released into atmosphere by organisms when they respire decomposers when they decompose a uh, dead and decayed uh, matter they also release a lot of carbon dioxide burning of wood fossil fuel and other materials they release considerable amount of carbon dioxide in atmosphere human activities they also contribute to carbon dioxide of atmosphere like rapid deforestation transport and industries they all contribute to carbon dioxide and now i will discuss about phosphorus cycle phosphorus it is a major component of biological membranes nucleic acids and it also performs different kind of functions in human body because it acts as a catalyst okay and many animals they need a large amount of phosphorus to form bones and teeth some other animals okay they use it to form shells clear and now the source what is the source of phosphorus it is only rocks natural reservoir for phosphorus is rocks okay and rocks they contain phosphorus in the form of phosphates now coming to utilization of phosphorus firstly it is absorbed by the roots of the plants then herbivores and other animals obtain aliment from plants by eating them then animals die or they excrete by those two processes one is excretion and dying they add phosphor back to the soil there is no respiratory release of phosphorus into atmosphere only when the organisms either plants or animals die they add phosphorus back to the nature thank you for listening to this lecture in case you have any query you can visit to my website that is www.amarpreetkaur.com thank you